Neon Chrome from 10 Tons, makers of Tennis in the Face and Baseball Riot. It's a little bit different. Say. Neon Chrome, the crown jewel of Neon Corp. Some people call it a corporate tower of Babylon. A million people call it home. A million people trust in my care and guidance, mm -hmm. but trust is a two-way street. The bridge into the future will be built upon absolute and unquestioning trust. Your trust score flags you red. You are marked for removal. Uh oh. Yeah, that sounds like a dictatorship. So, I'm not really understand all the detail, but I mean, you see this clearly like a future dystopian society. Where an overseer, I'm not really a big fan of that term. I think of slave, we're gonna think of an overseer, but uh, well, maybe that's apropos to this this game. I don't know, that's beside the point. Um, so I guess in your attempt to escape, you want to take upon a different personality or a different matrix like, but not matrix like kind of thing. I, yeah, basically you want to get to the top and kill the Overseer. That's pretty much the gist of it. It's also a roguelike and quite challenging. So depending on who you pick, if you pick the hacker, I believe you get the little satellite uh, friend there, which helps because they attack, which is always a plus in a game like this. And until you play a couple of uh, runs, kind of the first, I had a hard time understanding what everything was, but it clicks. I'm not sure why your aiming target is kind of off center. I and some of the um, notifications, like the exclamation point there, for different loot, like for looting and things like that, they seem to be placed in weird spots, like not necessarily next to the item you're looting. But I got used to it. Uh, so it, as you see, it's a top-down uh, twin-stick shooter. I should say twin stick, you, you do have to press the uh, R trigger to shoot, so you can't just aim with the right stick and shoot. The object is to just make it to the elevator, unlock the doors, make it to the elevator, and get up to the next floor. But it gets pretty tough. Um, a lot of the robots and stuff are they are not too bad. It's the security guards that are a little more uh, vicious and seem to pursue you a little bit more. I found that the female names for the assets often had better specs than the male names that's it, it you know it's randomized maybe it just it seemed that way when i played but whatever one thing you do carry over is your money so when you die you start off with the money that you had before you can buy new weapons and upgrades and things like that as you can see there's quite a bit of, of assets and things you can purchase and explosions who doesn't like explosions so some of the levels, you just have to kill somebody to get the key, grab the key from a particular room. Uh, the rooms are randomly, the whole layout is randomly generated as well. Other ones, you have to destroy different targets. Like here, you have one out of five to destroy, and then uh, you'll be able to open up the door to the elevator to get out. Sometimes looting can have an adverse effect, like uh, the vampire effect that just had on me where it's taking my health away. Not really helping me. Uh, overall, I tr really try to get into the game. I did not make it very far because it is very difficult. And one of my issues with it is a particular design choice. The game wants you to move quickly. If you don't move fast enough, you are pursued by reinforcements. But if you... That's, the, that's my issue. In order to play well, I will need to play slower. Think about what I'm doing more. Let me plot out a route. Not, not necessarily plotting, but just take a little more time and care in how I enter a room and attack the enemies. If I run out of time fairly quickly for a randomized environment and running out of time, the consequence for that is a bunch of soldiers, like, I don't know, felt like 15 to 20 soldiers pour in after you. I don't, I couldn't get far. Like, I wanted to play more of Neon Chrome, but I couldn't because it's difficult in and of itself. And if I can't slow down and take my time and think about what I'm doing, 
then that just made me die even faster. So I, I just couldn't win. You move too slow, reinforcements come and kill you. You know, you move too fast, you die anyway because of the inherent difficulty. Now, I guess one response to that could just be, hey, get good. That's not really sufficient. But that's my issue with it. I wanted to play more, but I that design choice made it kind of difficult. So like, subscribe, check out some playlists.